Hi, I'm Nick Moore and this is the new Kramer VS622DT. The VS622DT is a 6x2 matrix switcher for HD base T and HDMI. It also has Kramer Maestro room automation built in. Now let's have a look at the front of the unit. From the left we can see the IR LED and the IR receiver, the on LED and the two rows of buttons which are the input buttons for output 1 and the input buttons for output 2. Moving to the right, we have a swap button which allows you to swap between audio outputs, a lock button which locks the front panel buttons, a pattern button which you press to activate the test pattern generator, an EDID button which you press to capture the EDID from the selected output, and the output audio buttons, volume control and mute. On the far right hand side we have a series of LEDs. These indicate the status of the various control ports which are part of the Kramer Maestro control system. Now let's have a look at the back of the unit, starting at the left hand side. First we can see the two HD base T inputs with their companion LEDs which indicate PoE status and whether the link is present or not. To the right of them are the four HDMI inputs. On the top row we can see the RS-232 port for control of the VS622DT and the audio out terminal block connectors. Beside them we see the setup dip switches and the Ethernet connector which allows the VS622DT to be connected to the network. Output 1 is on an HD base T connector with its companion LEDs indicating power status and whether the link is present or not. Output 2 is on an HDMI connector. Above output 2 is the reset button which allows a full factory reset to default parameters of the VS622DT. Beside that are Hi-Z output terminal block connectors. For Low-Z use, connect the stereo output to Low-Z speakers. The left plus and left minus to the left speaker, right plus and right minus to the right speaker. For Hi-Z use, 70 volt or 100 volt line, connect Hi-Z and COM to mono Hi-Z speakers. Connect a PC to the mini USB marks program to perform a firmware upgrade. The final group of terminal blocks are the control ports for the Maestro control. Each one is labelled up with the type of control that it allows. Now we've connected the VS622DT to the Kramer network. And you can see that if I make a change on the front button that it is reflected in the Kramer network. Control for the VS622DT is from the podium over my shoulder. So we just go over here and using the Kramer network I can make switches by clicking on the cross point of the switch that I want to make. From the Kramer network I can also browse directly to the built-in web pages on the VS622DT. And in a couple of seconds we have the full web page. Again, we can make switches. We can also control the audio levels. And we can see what's going on with the data. The web pages also allow us to manage the EDID. On the screen you can see that all the inputs are using the default EDID but we can copy whatever EDID we like to the inputs. In the device settings we can see things like the IP address that we have set 
or we can have DHCP. The IO Gateway and Room Automation pages are subject to a separate movie about the Kramer Maestro Room Automation System. For more information on the VS622DT and Kramer's range of matrix switches and room automation products, please visit our website. Thank you for watching.